Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have an incredible tool to share with you that will take your website forms to the next level. It's called Gozen Forms, a powerful form builder designed to streamline your form creation process. Whether you're collecting leads, conducting surveys, or gathering customer feedback, this tool has got you covered. So let's dive right in. So let's open our browser and on the AppSumo page we have Gozen Forms AI and you will be able to purchase the lifetime plan of Gozen Forms AI at only $69, which is 96% less. Alright, so we are going to go to the Gozen Forms website. But before we get started, let me give you a brief introduction to Gozen Forms. It's an intuitive and feature-rich form builder that allows you to create custom forms for your website without any coding knowledge. With its drag and drop interface and extensive form building options, Gozen Forms makes the entire process a breeze. So we are gonna free sign up for the Gozen Forms and as you can see, no credit card is required. So before purchasing, you can just free sign up and try out Gozen Forms. Then you can decide that you actually need Gozen Forms or not. All right, we're gonna use Google account to sign up. All right, so our account is ready in Gozen Forms. As you can see, you can edit after publishing. All right, so notifications, a few notifications are here. We have private workspace, we have shared workspace. You can start to create your form from scratch or you can choose from templates. It's recommended to choose from templates because creating from scratch is really a big deal. And we can just choose a template and start creating form. So what will we start with? Let's go ahead and go with the client details form. Well, it looks minimalist and I guess we can use this one. Okay, we're gonna use this template as you can see. Client details form copy. So we can just say client details. The form name will be just client details and we're gonna click on continue. And we can add questions from here. As you can see, the main form is here. We can also rename the main form from here. Client details form. Now on the client details form on the first page, we have the form homepage, which after pressing start, we will be redirected to this page. And we can also copy this page and make another copy, as you can see. And there are lots of other pages that we will shift to. You can also add more questions if necessary. Go to the add button. And as you can see, there are lots of options available. You can just choose one and be done with it. Add new questions to it. So we're gonna go to client forms and as you can see you can uh, change the star button name something else you can add images and videos let's go ahead and try to upload an image well I'm gonna try uploading the dolphin photo so as you can see client details form and uh, you there is option where you want to place the photo you want to place it on the entire background you want to place it on the side left side right side top side uh, whole whole entire area covering left side well i think this one looks much more pretty in my eyes so i'm just gonna keep this one then we can go to the client name form you can add a description as you can see we only have name so uh we're gonna uh, type down in the description please input full name or someone might just enter their last name or first name so we're gonna say please input full name and here details welcome to details all right, so moving on to the company. So company here. Oh, no description required because what will I even describe for company name? Then title, then we have department, select an option. And here we have drop down options. As you can see, you can input the option. Please select an option. All right, option one, option two, option three. Selection option here. So I don't know, this might also be an option here. So we are just keeping it for testing. All right, guys. So then we have preferred contact method. All right. So we have email or phone. You can just select one. And then we can click on next. And I'm pretty sure that there is a logic here, as you can see. Let's go ahead. Adding new flow. Add conditions. All right. So we have it. So prefer contact method. Department prefer contact always go to prefer contact method all right so from title we're going to go to department from department we're going to go to preferred contact method 
and then we are going to go to always go to email from email we're going to go to phone from phone we're going to go to company website and then we're going to go to company logo working hours working days billing cycle all right but uh, we have preferred contact method here which is always go to email or phone we're going to change that soon all right so let's just create the form first okay so we have phone email i don't know what went wrong all right so back to our form we have phone we have, hmm, I guess that form is not working. Well, if it's not working, you shouldn't have kept it here, all right? But that's a bad thing. Well, this should, I think Gozen Forms should uh, check out the templates. Uh, well, this company website is not working, so why is it even here? It's so inconvenient that I had to find it out myself. All right, so you can just drop and uh, down your, you can just upload your company logo here. Then we have working hours. As you can see, type working hours, then working days, then we have bailing cycle, then we have additional information. All right, we don't want additional information. We want to close this window and then we want to add a new form. All right, we can add ratings form. Please write the form. All right, we can increase our stars. We can give 10 stars and we only have star shapes at the moment. Okay, so we can turn on labels. As you can see, we have one label. Label one, okay, label one would be poor, okay, satisfied. All right, so our, our rating form is done. You can select a lot of other forms from here. As you can see, the payment form is paid here. So in free mode, you can select these forms for your, uh, for your the form that you're making. All right, so it's ending with a thank you note. Good. Enter your thank you test here. So I'm, I don't want it to be again here. Can we just change it? No, we can't change it. That's nice. Thanks for filling out. And then we have themes here where you can just change your themes. As you can see, if I change a theme, the entire theme will be changed. And there are lots of themes to choose from. I think this one looks much better. So I'm just sticking with this theme. And you can also create a theme, as you can see. You can create your own theme you have with your own name. You can select fonts. You can uh, select the question, description, uh, color, and you can select the answer button colors, button text color, background color, background. You can also add background image if you want. And then we have font size. So as you can see, custom theme is available here. All right, so after we created the form, we're gonna go to logic. We're gonna go to integration. Oh my God, there are so many integrations available. Google Sheet, MailChimp, Pebbly, Active Campaign, The Pair, Slack, Discord, Trey.io. Uh, have so many integrations for your forms. As you can see, you uh, use Google Forms for Google Sheets. The integration allows you to add forms data to your spreadsheets. Well, that's real cool then. Well, you can also embed your form, as you can see. Side tab, get code. You can just get code for embedding the form, All right? That's also cool. So the results we have insights summary responses. Well, no responses yet, of course, there are no responses. Now we are gonna view our form. It does not contain any form. Why doesn't it contain any form? Okay, we're gonna preview it. Okay, so here we have desktop mode or mobile view mode. So uh, since we're using desktop, we are gonna go to desktop mode and we're gonna click begin. We're going to input client name, we're going to click next, input company name. After that, we're going to input title. Then we're going to select department. We have inserted some options there, but I don't know why the options are not here. We have preferred contact method, so we're going to select email. All right, so if we select email, it will jump to email but if we select phone it's still jumping to email all right so there is a bug here now let's go ahead cut this one we're going to select preferred method phone as you can see now if after selecting preferred method we have to input email address but let's go ahead and select a logic here all right so creation we have department i'm pretty sure that i have inputted options here option one option two option three 
type drop down. All right, it should work. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, now it's gonna work. As you can see, we have three options here. Okay, so now we're gonna go to logic. And you can set lots of logics here. So I'm gonna add rule in preferred contact method. If your choice is email, then go to mail. Uh, so we can add if your choice is and, and we can add if your choice is or. So if your choice is email or your choice is phone, where is or? If your choice is email, all right, so we're gonna explore or later, guys. So I'm just gonna close this one. Preferred contact method is phone. So preferred contact method is email, then go to mail. We're gonna add another rule. If preferred method is phone, then go to phone. All right, that's beautiful. Now let's go ahead and save it. All right, the form is ready, guys. Now we're gonna check how the logic works. Live preview, begin. We're just gonna go and skip directly to what we have changed. As you can see now, three options are available for department. And after selecting, we have preferred contact method. If we select mail, it will redirect us to mail. And if we select phone, we are being redirected to phone. So the logic is working and we are successful. Now we are gonna explore another logic. So let's see, if your company, we're gonna add a rule. If your company is equal to app unbox then go to rating and here we go is equal to and we can add condition here we are you can select and condition or you can select or condition so if it's if client name is app unbox or just app then the if client name is app unbox or app then we will go to the rating page Please read the form page okay and if it's you can select and method so if the client name is app unbox and it's app then we will go to this page so we can select or method this is more helpful so we're gonna save it and then back to creation preview begin client name let's see how it works as you can see we have directly jumped to the last ratings page we're gonna rate it submit it Thanks for filling out and then we're gonna click again as you can see again it's not working because we haven't selected any logic for again now since we haven't tried out the other forms we're gonna go and try out the forms from email all right so we're gonna input email here one two three at one two three dot com next well this one shouldn't come so um, how do we change this back to another logic so at mail, we always preferred contact method is phone, go to phone. Okay, we go to phone. Yes, after email, we'll go to company logo. So either, either email or phone, we will go to company logo no matter what. I accidentally closed it. So let's go ahead and preview again. Begin. Next. We're going to go next. Email. Email next. As you can see, we have company logo. We're going to make an upload here. Let's see how the upload works. We're going to select the green horses picture. Upload. Next. We're going to remove upload file. Right, so the next is not working here. We're going to remove upload file. And still, the next isn't working. Well, that's another bug for uh, goes and forms, I guess. So let's see what happens here. All right, so company logo uploading is uh, having problem at the moment. So it's not required, but the next button here is not working. So after that, we have working hours, working days, mailing cycle, and then we are going to rate the form. So guys, as you can see, this form is really convenient and you can do a lot with this form. And Gozen forms are actually the next level of form creation. And you can create really fun looking forms using Gozen forms. And that wraps up our review of Gozen Forms. It's a powerful form builder that simplifies the process of creating and managing forms for your website. Head over to the link down below in the description if you want to purchase Gozen Forms. And you can also get 60 days money back guarantee if you don't like Gozen Forms. So give it a try and if you don't like it, you can just get your refund if you don't like the app in 60 days. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting reviews and tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.